and here we have a Skoda VRS. Um, so we're going to be doing on it a full service. Um, it's also come up on the dashboard that uh, there's been a loss of uh, tire pressure on the front right, which is the driver's side. Um, and also the customer has been saying that the clutch pedal has been sticking down every, um, like it's intimately, um, whilst it's obviously been changing gears throughout like towns and stuff like that. So we're going to do a full service on it. We're going to check the tire, make sure there's no screws or anything like that on it. We're going to bleed the slave cylinder. Um, and yeah, anything else we need to do on it? Let's do that for now. And we'll, uh, speak to customers, see what else, if there's anything else you would like to do. So as always then, just to pop up the bonnet, Ugh, it's quite heavy. And then we are going to undo the, whoops, do the oil cap just so it drains a little bit quicker when we're underneath. Um, put that up there, yeah. Just helps drain it when we're underneath. Um, let's pop this off. Cool. It's got a belly plate on, so I need to uh, undo all the little torques to get the belly plate off. <clears throat> belly plate's off. Let's go and do the uh, sump plug. It's always right now. Gonna let that drain out. Then we're gonna get the oil filter, which is at the front there. Cool. So that's the uh, some plug nipped up again. Um, I'm just gonna undo the. I need two under this. Nah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need two under this. Um, just be careful with this because obviously, as you undo the. Um, Oil for uh, loads of oil will come out as well, so just make sure you have a drain underneath. So there's the old one, got the new one, it's new o rings, the cap. I'm just gonna plonk this one up into. up into position. Um, you can change the o rings on that and then. Do it up. It's got some torque settings on here again. Uh, 25 plus 5 new meters. So that's on now, torqued up. Sump plugs on. Um, need to fill it up. I'm just been having a walk around though, and it looks like there could be some sort of leak. Yeah. I don't know if it's bad enough to be a leak. Yeah, I don't think it's a massive leak, but if it is, it'd be coming from the from the sump casket. But it doesn't look too bad. Belt still looks in good nick, so yeah. We'll uh, forget about that one for now. Oh, so just put some oil in and yep, good to go. Um, we need to change the um, air filter, but I'm just going to take the actual air box off as well because the uh, clutch slave cylinder is underneath the uh, box itself. So we're just going to take the actual box off itself. Just going to pull all those things off. This little clip. two hands to undo this clip. Oh yeah, so just pop that up, pinch that together, and pull up, come straight out. Um, to prise them together, take this off. 
So yeah, it's had to undo the front of them 225 Torx bit, it just slides out. Um, then obviously this just pops off. Managed to pull up the uh, airbox itself. And here it is here. I need to take these off anyway, because we're going to change the uh, old filter. And as you can see there, here we have the sleigh cylinder. So we're just going to um, we're going to uh, get a little tube on here. Obviously, release that. Um, get some. Get a vac. Um, a vac pump on it and just uh, draw some fluid out. There should be some like some air in there, which would indicate why the uh, clutch pedal was sticking to the floor. Um, so yeah, let's get going. And done all the little torque screws. And it hops off and take the filter out. New one goes in. Let's put the top back on, and we are just going to tighten them down. So I do everything with one hand. continue that all the way around cool so we've just um, undone the um, brake, fluid, uh, brake fluid cap which is uh, it basically runs off the same it goes to the same uh, slave cylinder as well it uses the same fluid um, as you can see by the side it is in between the min and max uh, it's around about here um, so I've got some oh wait, so just on standby <laughs> got my back pump the little tube is hopefully collects all the uh, all the old fluid down onto the actual nipple of the uh, slave cylinder. I just need to turn that. Um, I think have a turn on it clockwise just to uh, uh, loosen it off. I can do it by hand. I think it's 180. Um, Ah, there we go, managed to do it. Ah, as you can see, it's starting to come up now. Just gonna apply a little bit of a vacuum on it. There we go, it wasn't actually creating a proper seal foot before, so I'm just going to pull this a little bit more. It should just drain into this pot. As you can see, we've got a vacuum there. You can hear it draining from here. There's a few. Oh. Let that do its work. Quite a few air bubbles there. There is quite a few air bubbles coming, as you can see. It's getting topped up now. I might need to just quickly knock this off. So I had to do that again because um, all the fluid that was coming through was so dirty and it was um, had quite a bit, bit of air in it. So I've, um, I've topped it up. I've um, undone the nipple again. I'm just going to create a vac just so it comes through. You see it's like drawing through now. There it comes. 
lot clearer this time and there doesn't seem to be any bubbles. Perfect, so I can lock that off in a minute and I can test the clutch out. That's what we want to see. Just gonna let that fill up a little bit more. Winner, winner. Cool, now that that's done, um, so top it up, I put the little rubber nipple back on. Um, I'm just gonna put the airbags back on. Um, obviously with the OX8 as well, or brake fluid, just make sure not to get it on any of the paint because it actually works as a paint stripper. So yeah, um, let's get the airbox back on. Cool, so yeah, clip back on, uh, wiring loom back on, air pipe back on, airbox in position. That's a little slide tray, it's about to do up now. That's back on. We've got the uh, fuel filter left. So yeah, it's, uh, it's got five T20 torques. Let's take this filter out. And what we have to do with two hands. Just letting that drain a little bit out. Got a new one there. Push it in. There we go. Put some pipes, pipes back in place. Clip it down. You put the uh, little torque screws back in again, and then we're good to go. Cool. So that's the service done. Final thing to do is just put the. Uh, Belly plate back on. Um, yeah, that's it. Just gonna put the belly plate back on now. So I just need to uh, check the brakes as well because the customers asked me to do that. And they look good. Um, although, there's a little bit of a lip on the disc, so I think the disc probably need doing soon. <laughs> 